Um, can you start my video? No. Why? I'm not doing that again. Just do it again. Do what you just did, but do it again. This time, do it even I better. Can't. Yeah, you can. Ready? I'll look away. Okay. I can't. I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> just do it. I cannot. Do it. Make my intro. <laughs> That's not what my intro looks like. You had this really good impression. Uh, no, I was not a very good impression. Just do it. I just have it memorized. Just do it. <laughs> okay, go. Where's my hat? It's right there. No. Yeah. My bunny hair off. It's fine. We don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to you. Alright, start my video. Why aren't you doing water research? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the For video. the car. <laughs> the car? Oh, yeah, I know. Why That's... aren't your priorities correct, Russell Grease? <laughs> Can you start the intro? That was the, that was the complainers. Now we need oh. the intro. Oh. Those are the people who think they know what I need. Now, Got it. now I need the intro to my I video. I don't even know what you need. <laughs> well, they do, <laughs> apparently. Okay, so <laughs> she obviously can't figure it out. All right, do my intro. Hello, my name is Russ Grease, right? <laughs> she, she is my wife, but she doesn't really know my so name, what apparently. What do you go by? Russ Grease or just Russ? I was getting ready to say bam. Oh, man. This might be a while. Ready? Yes. Okay, go. But you didn't tell me if I was correct. That's Russ Grease. Okay. Hello, my name is Russ Grease with rwresearch.com. Is that it? What are you doing? Watch your uh, apparatus work. Yeah. Looks good. There are a few bugs, not me. Hey, I like bugs. Gives me something to do. That's right. Yeah, we tested an idea and it looks like we need a little more pressure. As you can tell by the way that one cut. We did that on purpose. We need a little more pressure. So we're going to take a master so, uh, a hard, put it up here. So we don't have a hard spot there. Pressure. I think it's a combination of both. Right. It's like right on the edge of like right. not enough and not enough. It's actually rolling there. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, so the the wheel isn't going all the way down. I wonder if it's getting stuck on something back there. Yeah, that little bit of pressure overcomes it. But it's not much, it's like a little tiny bit. Right. Oh, that one cut. That's okay, I like the sand. Oh, it cut straight through there, I can see it. Yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 So I'm afraid that when it gets out here, it's gonna mess this up. So we thought about cutting the master and putting it up there, and then I won't have this fragile problem. Right. Be a good idea. Thanks, Dad. I knew I brought you out here for a reason. <laughs> Wait, you flew yourself out here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. In case you guys are wondering, this is the sawdust that comes out. It is like the perfect, perfect consistency for something. Maybe mixing with like epoxy to fill as binder, but it is just so fine. And there's a lot of it. What, what should we do with it? Throw it away. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. But, I don't know. Any ideas, anyone? Let me know. All right, little update. Don't know where this fits in the video. Uh, but I'm making a three prop, so I cut three individual pieces. I machined down two little pieces of scrap aluminum, made some, uh, those are my hubs that I'm going to be clamping parts between. Drew up a little guide to help me get my alignment right. And uh, I've got my bolts here that I'm going to be using to uh, hold this thing together. It's a 632, no sorry, an 832. Got my tap stuff ready, started marking my angles here. Uh, on how I'm gonna cut this and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the bolts. I have a three prop hub 
and the bolts are like staggered like this probably for torque reasons so I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet but uh, that's where we're at right now my dad's here I don't know if he's helping or watching but they're both good both. <laughs> okay <clears throat> so that's all I know so uh, I still gotta sand these down and figure out how I'm gonna get all this to fit but there's your update what you got to say about this I think it'll work once? Might take a while. Just once? Yeah. Oh. I would like it to work more than once. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see where we go. Riley, we're working here. We're working here. I know, I'm working out there. Get out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, what we what we accomplish, Grandpa? I think we got it real close. What we I've been working okay, anyway. he has been giving me motivation. So we got these made. Took double sided sticky tape, stuck them together, drilled the holes threaded these with our uh, 632's these are obviously uh, chamfered with a hundred degree chamfer Boop. so they're flush and then uh, sanded cut down trimmed uh, cracked one of the tips cutting it I don't even know which one now because I glued it back together um, the point is is that I don't want to tell I think it's that one but cut these off laid them out on our paper and uh, now we have to drill these holes in the right spot and mount them together and then we'll balance it. We're gonna balance it soon! Look at that! You said I was a professional. You are. I sanded them within uh, a tenth of a gram. I, I weighed them, they're all 1.6 ounces and I didn't touch them. They were exactly all the same so I, I think they're good enough to start with. I think so. And we'll go from there. Wow, much wow, much wow. Ampy. <laughs> no, Lily. Hi. She's the girl that helps. Lily. Lily. What? what do you think of this? Where is it? Right there. It looks good. It looks good? Yeah. Do you know what it's for? Prop? For yeah. a plane? It is, but do you know what this thing is that's holding the prop? For? What's it for? This piece of wood with this thing on it? This whole contraption? Uh, no idea. Okay, it's called a jig. So I have to drill these holes in all three of these props perfectly in the same spot. And that's hard. Because yeah. I don't have any way to hold it. Yeah. So I made this. So what I can do is I can take this blade, which I have this yeah. reference spot where I use to put it in the machine. Mm -hmm. I can set it right up against there and then I can put the blade right up against here and now I can drill those two holes every time in the right spot. Oh wow. What do you think of that? That's cool. You like it? Yeah. It's called a jig. I like jigs. I like jigs. You ready to go use the jig? Yes. Okay, let's go use it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you're funny. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> prop is basically finished. I got it coated. It's on the balancer. And actually, it's like almost perfect. Um, I can't seem to see any real problem with it. Um, and yeah, could go thicker on the clear coat, but uh, it's just to kind of help seal it a little bit, so it's fine. Now we need to actually run it and see if it explodes. Mm hmm. Okay, all right, test of a three prop. I'll show you what it looks like in case it blows up. It looks good. <laughs> I don't think it'll blow up, but you just never know. We got the amp meter on there. I do have a, just a stagnant battery voltage. We're just low voltage. Well, we're at uh, 12S, but we're running at uh, um, storage voltages. So it's not full, full power. So I'm gonna stay over here and read the uh, pounds. Twenty-five pounds. Is that what you thought? Uh, at that battery voltage, probably. I need okay. to go full battery to really know.
Okay. Well, we're firing up the grill. We're going to make some food. I'm happy about that. At this battery voltage, this two prop is only making about 17 to 18 pounds. Did you try it already? Yeah. Where was I at? Inside. So I can trust you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to think about it. <laughs> yes, you can. Good deal. Uh, and then with the three prop on, yeah. on this power level, it was making 20, uh, 25 pounds of thrust. Which means on an almost dead battery, I'm making the same power level as this two prop at full full tilt. Because the battery voltage just goes down. Right. You know what I mean? So yes, I gained a lot, but I won't know what the real gain is until I charge them fully and let her like full wow. power rip. But I'm I'm content. It was pulling like 80 amps versus the 50 this one does, so it'll probably be pretty Perfect. pretty high on amps, but should okay. be fine. Let's go get our food. Oh, well, she's still putting them in. Okay. All right. There it is. Finished. Seems like it works well. There's Grandpa. Hi. I'm making the end of my video. Go right ahead. It worked. Yes, it did. It was awesome. Great job. Oh, oh thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. I did something right for once. I was impressed. <laughs> Believe me. So, there they are. There's the two. Serial number one. Serial number two. And I uh, put a little piece of rubber on here to just take up any slack for any weirdness and clamping these together. But it worked pretty well. I'm going to see if it's still balanced after we ran it in case anything moved, just for fun. But uh, I think it's pretty good, so that's all I got for you. See you later. Read the Bible more. As always, peace out. You got any last words? You're leaving Tuesday. Uh, I had a great time out here, and uh, Russ has always got something very exciting. I'm always doing something. Yeah, doing something all the time. Always. So are you. Have a good time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's that time again. What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. We're at the end of a video. If you don't know this, then you haven't been watching my videos to the end. We leave comments. Well, you leave comments, then I answer them. So this is last week's comments. Um, am I actually recording? I think I'm recording. Let's see. I get this confused. I'm going to stop it. And now we're rolling again. Okay, here we go. By saying that 12 days, I meant the total duration of the channel's videos I stumbled upon these numbers while trying to filter and rank the most valuable videos. Good job. God bless you. There was a comment somewhere about how long it would take to watch my videos or something. I, was, I don't remember where this came from. But thanks, and God bless you too. And Daddy, I balance is so perfect. Crashed an airplane today. I understand. Oh. And now yeah. we have this dangerous thing. Oh wow, that works really well. Yeah. Trimmed it off. Yeah. Oh, just so you know, you're on video right now. Here you go. Wait, where? Huh? What? Where? Why? There's no camera. Why? Right there. What? Is that the camera? Why? I'm answering comments. Oh. Oh, hello, YouTube. Smiley face, thumbs up. Wait, that's not a smiley face. That's a heart. Should I remove it? Put it back. Remove it? Put it back. You know what would be really funny is if every time I hit this that it sent an email. <laughs> you get like thousands of emails. <laughs> let's just see if it works. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, let's go do your ears. This one got her ears pierced. So now I have to clean them out. For like six weeks. For her birthday. She's now a teenager. Oh, this should get interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm almost a teenager. I still have one year. What? You need a hug. My minute hug. Okay, one minute. Oh, we'll be back. Alright, we're back. Alright, Harris, what's up, bud? Uh, next step will be self-auto calibrating 
stand for building props or these props does not need calibrating oh you're talking about balancing them yes they do need balanced how small a prop can your stand make um, I won't make anything less than 12 inches because 22 8 like 15 or 18 inches I won't make anything smaller it doesn't make sense they're not that expensive past that they get a little pricey um, I am well thank you me with my kids saying hi say hello Hello. Um, a good new tactic to make a new video at the end of your reading your comments live a new good a good new tactic is to make a new video at the end of reading your comments live um, I haven't seen that among youtubers makers yet ha <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I don't. I mean, there's probably not too many people doing that. That's cool. Um, one thing is to read your answer. The other thing is to hear it come. To hear it comment. Commenting. The other is to hear commenting and see what you will write in the answer. That is more fun. Nice. P.S. I remember that video of blowing a capacitor almost in the middle of the night. God bless. Oh yeah. Exactly. Um, that's the one where I was. Um, I think you're speaking. Well, there's two of them. The one I think you're speaking of is when I discharged the capacitor bank into the relay and it blew up. And it was in the middle of the night. And that was, yeah, pretty interesting. Woke up the neighbors and things. All right, cool. Thanks, Harris. Cheers, buddy. Do you know a number? No, you can count them for me. Oh. How long does it usually take? 15 minutes or less. Huh. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, was I recording the whole time? To go back and watch it, I guess. I hope I was recording the other one. Forward as record. All right. So, um, on to the next cool project. Uh, actually, we got this one you're watching right now but then yes don't don't question the teacher she knows her way around the classroom what's wrong with my keyboard I don't know exactly Russ exactly don't question the teacher don't question the teacher who's the teacher mom okay alright agreed on that one all right, with your fabrication skills and my spelling, we could rule the world! Pinky and the brain, 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 brain. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, all right, Fire Pinto. Wisconsin. Couldn't remember where you were at. Wisconsin has been a kind of a poop state. Yeah, we did say that last video, uh, which was an accident, but it's hilarious. I actually, Wisconsin, uh, I don't think it's that bad, is it? Um, I have the urge to move to Florida. Good luck with the humidity there, my friend. No, thank you. Um, I bet you could plumb an EPG between the prop and the machine and the vacuum to harness some of that static electricity. Uh, yes, probably could. I still have half a finished PEX spoil for an EPG around here somewhere. I do have a PEX spoil for PEX version of the EPG sitting at work in the closet because that's where I stored it at. Um, this new job has me working every day by ra by ra breaking in the overtime. Imagine that. Take a new job so you don't have to work so much then they push you through overtime. So much for the uh, in so much for energy for my own endeavors. Hopefully uh, the rush project ends soon. It doesn't. I hope it does, but it usually doesn't. <sighs> yes. Exactly. Um, yeah, it usually doesn't. But I really wish it would. Um, and by the way, on the aesthetic electricity thing, there's another comment down here we'll read, which is very real, and I didn't ever even think about that. So if people don't understand, in the last video, I talked about the static electricity in the sawdust. It's going through a pipe through the vacuum and that creates huge static. So there are videos out there of people like basically it's a Vandy graph generator and people make like 
vacuum cleaner Vandy graphs of some sort of kind of thinking. You have to check it out. I have seen that. Uh, looking great. About the smoke, I was thinking maybe you could somehow make a, a pipe or hose that diverts the exhaust air from the vacuum cleaner out of the building. So currently I'm using a shop vac with a bag that does a good job filtering and I am f pushing that out but I don't think it would suck the smoke out. However, I fixed the smoke by adjusting the angle of the cutter so the cutter didn't burn into the wood. So the smoke's gone, but I still exhaust it out anyway. Um, maybe through the window. I actually have a, a I already have a big um, blower that blows out vent out to the outside and I just plumb it out that way in the garage. We used it for like HHO slash hydrogen slash other gases like O3 and we just pump it outside. Um, we don't do much of that, but we did a little bit. Um, all right. Make sure I'm recording. Could also further improve your dust collection, since basically nothing, even what gets through the filter, should stay in the shop. Could also further improve your dust. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anything that does get through the vacuum still go out. Your dust collection seems to work really well, though. Props to you. <laughs> Props to you. Get it? Props because it's a prop maker funny <laughs> your quality control staff is too cute that was Elijah and Lily I think or Malachi looking at the prop it was hilarious <laughs> cheers that's hilarious uh, alright beware of the dust explosions with that fine dust trust best to put a somewhat damp cloth in the cabinet and add to add hu in humidity so that you don't get static sparks causing it uh, to go poof at you, to go poof at you, causing it to go poof at you. Fire Pinto says, yes, you could run a bare copper wire through the vacuum hose and connect it to earth ground and drain off the charge. So I've been using the different vacuum, which I don't know how much static it produces, but yes. I never thought about a dust explosion. I wonder how much dust you need for that to happen. Didn't... What did we throw on the fire that time? Was it sawdust? Remember I made a go... Oh, it was salt or yeah. sugar. No, it was on flour. Flour? Yeah. Yeah, we did flour explosions outside on the fire one day to show you how bad it could be. And it was a tiny bit. I don't know how much it'd take to blow up. I don't know. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should make a dust explosion with a small amount of dust and see how much dust you need for something to go boom. See why the comments are helpful? New video idea. Unfortunately, now everyone knows what's coming. Or is it? I may never do it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all right. Um, hearts and thumbs up, hearts and thumbs up. Faux show. Faux show. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Like, that's a, something I didn't think about. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Peace and love, you guys. Have a good day. And um, Dexter's over here in the in the corner. You got anything else to say? Uh, God bless. Bye. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Peace.